Hi everybody, it's Chris Van Kirk. Yeah, it's Blue Rhino Safaris. Um, I'm excited with a new tour that I've developed. Uh, I've been thinking about it for uh, about four, f no, about eight weeks now. And um, it's a trip that um, I haven't done before. Uh, this will be the first time I'm doing it. Not that it's strange, you can actually find it uh, on my 2020 tour plan. It's been loaded there. Slack pack, oyster catcher, and Adobe Bedroffentine route. Now, I have uh, I've done quite a few private tours where there was specific activities that we've included in it, um, from horseback riding, trekking through Lesotho, all the way up to boat rides in the Delta for a week. Those type of things um, are activities that you can do, but generally it's not part of what I do. But when I was at the getaway show in in the Cape. Um, a, a month or so ago I chatted to the lady that organizes the oyster catcher um, eco trails and um, I thought let me do this and see uh, if anybody's interested so in January 2002 Martinez van Skalkwijk announced that we cannot drive on the beaches anymore because we were destroying the habitat of a little bird called the African black oyster catcher the turbi and um, we basically stopped at that point for the conservation of, of this little black bird. And today, 20 years later, uh, this bird is not endangered anymore and it's actually doing very well. So I thought, why not take our 4x4 mines and go down to the area that stopped us using our 4x4s on, on beaches and just have a look at, at the area that we have helped to create by not driving and destroying the, the beaches down there. Um, so I thought, let me combine the slack packing and we combine that with a little bit of four by four driving, driving through Addo. And if we do that, we have a very nice balanced route for seven nights, um, which includes slack packing. If you don't know what slack packing is, it is basically hiking without your rucksack. You don't have to take your own bedding. You don't have to take your own food. It's a fully catered four nights where we are guided uh, with a local guide. Uh, we are fed every day, morning, breakfast, um, lunch, dinner. You get your water from them. Um, basically, everything that you need is there. All you need to do is take a slack pack with maybe a light jacket and you, some way to carry your water. And then you hike every day. So this will happen down in uh, the Mossel Bay area. If you um, if you go onto the if you go onto the um, internet, you'll see Mossel Bay is right here, and we start just next to Pinnacle Point basically, and we hike down um, through Bochum's Flees by all the way to the Choret's mouth where the trip ends. Now our accommodation is at Bochum's, and every day they will take us out to the starting point. We'll walk a, a stretch of the route. Um, we have breakfast, we have lunch, uh, we have insightful talks, uh, the whales probably still calving, it's right at the end of their calving season, so we might see some whales in, in the ocean and dolphins. And um, then at night back to the accommodation, which is formal accommodation, little Cape style houses that we sleep in. So fully catered, accommodation included, guide included, everything in this section of it. Four nights, three days of hiking, 12 k's, uh, 15 and 15 if I'm not mistaken, which is a uh, which is not difficult. When I prepare for the gorillas, I normally would do like a 10 k hike, and it would take me two and a half or three hours or so, and you know it's it, it's not a big issue. So very comfortable. Um, you have to be not super fit, but at least in a position that you that you can walk uh, 15 kilometers in a day. It, the pace will be set by the guide and it's normally set by the person that is the slowest in the group so if you want to do it you're welcome to come along you should be able to to do that quite easily so this will be the um, the area that we will be doing the slack packing and that will happen for four nights so you meet me down here at Bochum's for the first night we have dinner and the next morning that after breakfast they take us out to a starting point and we start our journey um, looking at the area that has been conserved through the ban on beach driving. So it'll give you a, a bit of insight, but 
what is nice about this is we're going to learn a little bit more about the ocean and the animals and the fynbos and everything in, in the area. Uh, we are going with a professional guide that they supply for us. Once we are done there, after the four days uh, in the um, Muscle Bay area, we will then go and drive over to Addo. Let me just get this thing to work. So from Muscle Bay, we would cross through. George, nice now, will stop for a, a few things if you need something. And basically go into Addo Elephant National Park for um, for two nights. So we're going to go to Main Camp, sleep there for two nights. But in the day, we will explore the Addo Park. I give you two-way radios. We chat about the animals that we see. We, we look at the whole Addo setup. And um, after the two nights, we tackle the Bedrogfontein 4x4 Eco Rig. In my view, probably the best one um, out there. I love this route. It's really good. It's fun 4x4ing because there's a, a bit of a challenge, but it's not, it's not dangerous 4x4ing. It just feels a little bit more like you're using your vehicle rather than just uh, faffing around. So if you don't have a 4x4, but you still want to do the oyster catcher and the addo and all of that with us, you can come with a normal vehicle and we can do that. Um, but once we do the um, Bedrogfontein Eco Route 4x4 with low range, uh, there's a quite a few steel up, steep uphills and downhills. So if you're not doing the 4x4 section, you just tell me and I cut that out of the price and you just pay for the, the Oyster Catcher Trail as well as the two nights in Addo. So two nights in Addo, we explore the park and then um, we leave and we do the Bedrogfontein Eco Route, which basically starts at Kirkwood. Uh, through the mountains, over the mountains, and it ends up at this dam right at the end. Um, from there, we'll see where we sleep. Um, depends how far we can get on the 4x4 route. Uh, I have slept at the dam before. We can do um, Mountain Zebra Park in Craddock. It, it all depends on how we go through the day, what we'll do. And the group that says they want to join, we'll have a chat and make sure that everybody's comfortable with where we finish the trip. But that is it. That, that's the plan for the... Um, for the for the tour uh, it's on the website so you can have a look there the itinerary is there as well what we do through the slack packing and then what we do through the 4x4 specific um, period period a little map is there uh, if you're interested please let me know i'm only going to make the bookings available for the rest of april end of april bookings close because i need to confirm the numbers um, for the guys at oyster catcher uh, if nobody wants to join me, it's fine. I'm still going to do it. I'm really looking forward to this. It's it's fun to do something different. It would be good to get our bodies moving a little bit. And it would be good to support our local economy by spending a bit of money on tourism locally. So if you're interested, uh, let me know. And um, yeah, it's going to be great fun. October the 5th is when we start for seven nights. And uh, all the details are on the website. If you have any questions, please ask me. Um, if you are keen to do this one or there's another slack packing route that you wanted to do, then I can always incorporate it into other tours. If there's anything that you think I should be looking at, let me know. Otherwise, have a great day. Stay safe and we'll chat again soon. Cheers.